Hey, it's Crimson's Thoughts time. I uh, meant to do this for my previous sketchbook, and it took me an entire second sketchbook to actually get around to doing it. Um, so here we are. Uh, this one was active from about the end of January to mid-May. I just looked that up. I don't know that off the top of my head. It's cool. And uh, these, these stickers go in the dark, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, I just, I think it's kind of neat to hear what people think about drawings and their sketchbooks and stuff like that. So that's, that's what we're doing. And I, I hope it's at least mildly enjoyable, question mark. Um, so this one started out about the same time I was doing some OC fusions, actually. So this is, I, I never actually posted the pictures and I still probably won't for a while because there's a few more that I want to do. But this guy is Bo and he is the fusion between, um, Blackjack and Shelly. So I went for kind of like a plushy look. I love his design very, very, very much, but I think it's a little too complicated for me, honestly. So I just, he didn't really catch on as an OC that I drew a whole bunch. So um, that's kind of where he's at. And about the same time, I was having some issues with uh, drawing faces. So his eyes are too close together, which I don't think really helped me um, <laughs> feeling it, I suppose. So there's more of him in here, but uh, this is still probably the best one. I also had just recently adopted this guy, and sort of her also, sort of, kind of, not really. It's it's fine. It's not. <laughs> I, I adopted her, but I also didn't at the same time. Um, I don't have a lot of thoughts about this one. I do really enjoy like writing different fonts for different people's voices, even though it's you know not necessarily good practice. It, it, it looks cool. It's fine. Um, a little bit of vampires. Uh, this is when my scanner broke and I tried to fix it. So the death of Flash killed my scanner, uh, which was great and fantastic. And I spent hours trying to fix it and just broke it more. So that really fucking sucked. Um, I fixed it since then, which is good, but I was not having a good day. Uh, Adam, Adam kind of gets to bear the brunt of, uh, all the shit that happens to me sometimes. That's, you know, his lot in life is a Sona, but that's how it goes. Um, Here's more bow. I don't like this one. I do like his tail. Don't like this one. Uh, and also one of my favorites of Romeo, actually. So here's here's more uh, font stuff. So I this one in particular is kind of like the very fancy British person, but it tends to, I tend to use it for like angels and things like that. So that's what they've got. I really like how their hand came out. It just looks so nice. Here's me figuring out some gauntlets for Diamond. Um, I'm actually taking this one away from her and giving it to Goddard instead, so it's it's fine. Um, I'm going to have to redraw this one or something. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I don't like how her face came out, but it, it's it's whatever. And one of my favorite Hinatas to date, um, for whatever reason, I think there's another Diesel in here that's just kind of the similar case, is a lot of my characters will have, like, expressions that they make constantly, and anytime I draw them without it, it always comes out really good. So... I, I, you know, a little bit more characterization for them, but I, I like this Hinata a lot. Diesel. I don't like his face, suffering from some of the eyes issues that I was having earlier. Um, but, I, you know, it's it's not every day that I draw, like, a, a, a background. It's more like, you know, props there, but I, he, he came out pretty okay. And also, I got to draw robot toes. So I, I like this one, I think, even though his face is a little funky. His arms are so busy, though. It's always really hard to pro like process what's actually going on with his poses unless I clean them up. So eh. I do love this one. This one also came out very well. So this one, actually, I was originally I was having a bad day. I'm like, oh, it's fine. I'll just draw, you know, a little headshot. Uh, you can see how well that went. Um, I just I, I really, really like all of this business. It's a good one. I don't have anything more to say about it because it's just good. <laughs> you know, actually, I take that back. I think I actually might have already redrawn this one. I think I drew him, screwed up some part of it, and I was like, I'm too tired to fix this. And then I came back the next day and fixed it. You can kind of see some of my erasing marks up here. I think that's actually what happened. It's been a while. But there's that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. So due to reasons that are spoilers that I'm not going to say and have not told most people. Um, I was thinking about, like, okay, like, it would make narrative sense in the future for Diesel to cut his hair, right? But 
Diesel looks amazing with his current haircut, and I cannot think of anything that looks cooler than it on him. So I just, I spent forever just screwing around with different hairstyles and seeing what I could get to come out of that. And uh, neither of these worked. And one of my favorite things is my character is like being snarky against the fourth wall kind of thing. You know, it's not really an actor's AU so much as like a, I, I exist in this sense and I am self-aware of being a character. So, you know, I, I don't like it when you give me a haircut, even though I'm still the same person as always. So, you know, just a little bit of snark about it. And an angry Hinata for me not wanting to draw. <laughs> and this is this is the final one that I came up with that I actually liked. Um, so he, he ends up with this in the future, probably. This is still young Diesel, to be fair. But this is probably his future haircut when he eventually gets rid of the, you know, ass length hair. And yes, yes, we are done here now. It's okay, don't worry. And that little uh, intended cute doodle that didn't come out well, so I gave up on it. Here's Marbeau. He's meant to be kind of like a little bit chubby, but because of the way I've drawn him and all of the different poses I've put him in, you can't tell. So, oops. I I don't I don't love this one to be honest. Like I I just really struggled with his face over and over and over again. So I I'd really like to bring him back and like try and figure out how to draw him well, but that's as he is right now, it's not happening, which is kind of a shame. But we'll get there. More. I, I have nothing more to say about that, or this, honestly. This was me just, like, not having a good drawing time, so I just drew some stuff, and that's it. Doggy. Doggy. It's my boy. This was must, this must have been Caspian's birthday. So this would have been February 14th. I love him very much. He's very good. Also, I swear his nose is not off kilter. He just has a very big nose. <laughs> it's a little hard to see in pictures, but, like legitimately in person caspian's nose is like a fucking sword so i've i've you know slowly learned how to try and draw that over the years i think i'm kind of getting there <laughs> i don't think i'm ever going to represent it correctly except in like side view like all of caspian's drawings are side views because of it but you know we love him anyways um this is an original concept for maxwell who may end up getting renamed miles i'm not really sure yet uh this is one of the uh, side plot, secondary plot, I guess, airplanes. Um, and they were paired off with Diamond, and they do stuff. But I was like, you know what I need? I need a shaggy character. So they have a lot of big fluffy hair. And I, this is actually not their final haircut. I think there's another one of them later on in this book that has a much better haircut than this. But it was a good, a good preliminary start, at least. <laughs> okay, so this top one, I had a really cool idea. I'm like, I'm going to draw Bunny in side view. And then I'm like, I'm going to put Foster in there. And there was not enough space. So instead, she's just poking him in the eyeball instead of yelling at him. So um, I gave up on this one, and I might finish it digitally later sometime in the future, which means it's never going to happen. But we can dream. Uh, in the meantime, though, I do love this one to Foster. This one came out really well. More, more font stuff. He looks, he's just really cool. I, my idea for his eye patch thing is that he's got like, he look his face, his face looks a little bit like shattered porcelain kind of, and behind it, there's like, you know, one of those like shifty planes that like parallaxes so it doesn't move and you can kind of see through his face into it. It's got like eyeballs and stuff floating around in there. He's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Absolutely nothing is wrong with him whatsoever. It's just an old scar is all. That's it. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, oh, this is, uh, Mercutio. So this is an intended, uh, I had a story for my character Mercury and I liked it, but it didn't fit Mercury because I really wanted Mercury to be more of like counterpart for Adam and or in Adam's world. And this did not fit that whatsoever. So I was like, oh, you know what? Well, I'll just make I'll just make a new character and then free Mercury from his bonds and it will be fine. So that's who Mercutio is. <laughs> I'm probably never going to draw him again, but he exists and he's cool and he has a story that I liked. This is a mediocre Hinata. We're going to ignore it. Uh, mediocre Saxon. Uh, trash cat drinking Red Bull at, you know, 4 a.m. <laughs> There's a second uh, pair drawing to this that's in a different sketchbook because I wanted it to be bigger of him just like having absolutely trashed his desk and he's like asleep like you know hanging off of his office he's he's a horrible horrible piece of shit and I love him and um he makes bad decisions with his life <laughs> but it's fine <laughs> oh more hair stuff so this is 
I don't think this was intentionally a spinoff of me drawing Diesel with short hair, but this is just intended to be like slightly younger Henry. So he's got, he's trying to figure out how to do with his hair because um, he's missing half of a head of it as of recently in his life, uh, which, you know, he doesn't have his, uh, he doesn't have his arm yet either. And he's also wearing a shirt. This is where he gets the stripy fabric from that he wears literally all over his body. Um, that's kind of the idea. I actually, I got this idea from my, my friend Mazid Dynasty who drew him in this shirt to make fun of him at some point. So I'm like, all right, fine. Yeah, sure. He can own that. It's cool. It's fine. Um, baby coyote. This is me attempting to draw eyes a different way. You can't tell. It's cool. Uh, and then Ziggy, who I, I must've gotten him this particular day. Cause I've got a bunch of old name ideas. So like he might've been, he actually is technically still named Calypso because that's his code name, Calypso five. Uh, but he could have been Candy, Cherry Bomb, Jawbreaker, or Gatorade also. I think all of which fit okay, but I like Zeki the best. So I, I like him very much. He's very cool. There's more of him coming up. Here's my Cody. This is the one that I'm like, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to come back and finish this one. And then I, you know, I finish an entire sketchbook and still haven't. We'll get there someday. I do really like how his face and like his trunk came out. And then I just got really tired and couldn't. You can tell that my lines kind of got sketchier as I went. Um, you know, it's it's worse here and stuff like that versus his face, which is nice and crispy. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to ruin this. If I keep going, I need to go to sleep. And then I did. And then I'm like, I will come back and finish this later because I don't want to work on it right now. And I still haven't, but I swear I will because it's a very good coyote. And also, I want this one for Art Fight. So I'm going to try to do that. It's almost Art Fight season, guys. It's almost Art Fight season. Uh, here's more Ziggy. This is more Ziggy angst. So this is, I think this is when I had come up with his story. I'm like, what if he was a secret agent, though? So I can draw him in space angst. <laughs> this is all we have to say about this one. Um, I don't like this one very much, but I do like how his butt came out. It's very cute. Booty. He's got a cute little fluff, like, fluffy bum tail thingy. Uh, what's the word? Um... A bobtail, that's the word I want. I mean, he, he's a lynx, he's a bobtail cat, right? So it's its its fun to draw, and it's cute, and I like him. Um, this is one of my favorite diesels right now. The same thing with that Hinata from earlier. It's like, this is an expression that he doesn't usually make because he's a piece of, you know, he's a piece of work, and he he's crabby all the time and is always scowling. But instead, he's, you know, not. So it looks nice. I like it. Or Ziggy, he's got a human form, and this was me, like, actually coming up with it. But not clothing him, because that's for nerds, and also I didn't want to come up with it yet. So, he's naked. It's, it's alright, don't worry about it. Oh, angst! Let's, we don't need to read that. But angst! <laughs> and, uh, some Shelly. So this, I, I actually don't remember if it was related or not, but I think I was thinking about, like, um, the logistics of headphones when you're not, like, human and or have weird features going on. So I don't remember if that was the reason I drew this or if it was just coincidence. And then I had to think about it. I'm like, haha, wouldn't it be funny if... And then I, you know, did it. A lot of the time when I'm drawing Shelly, I love drawing their head hands, but I have to think of what to make their head hands do. So that was kind of what actually happened here is I'm like, oh shit, um, what can I do with their hands? And then I did this instead, so... Uh, oh, I didn't know what to draw, so I went through my toy house, I'm like, all right, who desperately needs new icons because the art is outdated, but I don't want them to remove them from my account, but they have names that start at the beginning of the alphabet, so they should probably have new icons, and so I drew them, and I think they came on amazingly. I'm very, very happy with both of these, um, and I, I, I've put them next to the original drawings that, you know, they had as their icons, and it's... It is a stark difference, especially Aldrich, because he actually looks like an adult now. Well, both of them do, but he actually looks like an adult, like, for sure. Here's me pretending I know how to draw Barnaby's face. It's cool. Uh, another one of those. I don't really like this one as much, but it's better than the one that Brock had, so it's fine. Uh, also, some trash ziggies and me figuring out whether or not Copics work well on uh, Moleskins. They don't. In case you were wondering, they really don't. Travis. He's a baby. He loved him. The sweater paws. So this is, actually has a lot more context. I was kind of thinking about Travis and like, you know, they don't really have a story so much, but 
they're they're intentionally kind of incendiary in like how they act and stuff like that so they you know they, they act like it's baby time all the time and that's just like it's fine it's not a problem but for them specifically they'll also do it when it's not appropriate and that's kind of like what i was thinking about so i'm like oh, let's draw them with sweater paws it's it's fine you know <laughs> it, it obviously this drawing has all of that context in it you can definitely tell so that, that happens a lot um and then um i adopted kira here's a sketch for kira's to start with that i didn't ever actually post anywhere i don't think so i don't finish it um and uh, me trying to remember how to draw, like, phones in hand. The phone's too small, but I think it came out well anyways. It's fine. Um, this and this Kira on the next page, I actually came back and edited later because um, I adopted them. And the design that they came with was a teeny tiny chibi, right? Which, you know, is fine. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of chibis, generally speaking, but... Uh, because of that, the outfit that he had was really, really simple because, you know, it was a teeny tiny drawing. So I'm like, I can't, I can't deal with drawing a jacket that's this simple. And also, I think it would look better if it had more detail to it. So I had to wait to get a uh, son to actually help me find a jacket that I like that matches personality. And then I came back and edited it into like three or four drawings. Um, and then I scanned them after that. <laughs> So some of the original pictures of this uh, don't have, like, most of his chest in there. So I, I love Kira's looks, and he's, like, just the right amount of simplistic, but I can make him complicated if I want to. I redrew this little fox. I drew it, and then I'm like, this sucks. Then I went to bed, and then the next day, I'm like, it still sucks, and I want it to not suck, so I redrew, like, the entire body. Uh, I love both of these, though quite a bit. He's got these little, like, will-o'-wispies that show up whenever he's in his actual foxy form. It's, it's, it's good shit. Oh boy. I think I actually drew each of these one night each. So I did Hinata, and then I did Diesel, and then I did Henry, and then I did Coyote, and then I did Tegan, right? I don't like any of these drawings. Uh, their eyes are all funky. I was I was experimenting with having to draw, you know, eyes differently because I was still struggling with my eye issue. You'll notice that a lot of the characters on these previous pages either only have one eye showing or in profile. Um, so, it's Kira especially. So I was trying to combat that with, you know, changing how I draw this eye versus that eye because that was kind of the problem that was going on. I think now I've actually pinpointed that I'm drawing the nose too close to this side of the face. It's still a problem. I'm still working on it. We'll get there. Um... So all of these were tests, actually, to try and, like, get out of that. And, uh, but it's the first time that I've actually drawn, you know, the whole cast together at the same time. So Mags was like, hey, you should color them. I'm like, absolutely not. I hate all of these. And then I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I scanned them all and I photoshopped the hell out of them to make them look good. And then I colored all of them because I, I, I couldn't not do it at that point. <laughs> so that's, that's what these are. These are the originals. I... I'm not a huge fan of most of these, to be honest. Henry especially came out poorly, which is kind of a shame, because Henry usually comes out really well. Um, and here's, here is Maxwell. There's a Ziggy I didn't like. Here's Maxwell. Uh, this was the second concept for Maxwell, and I didn't ref this at all. That's actually one of the other big things with this, is I didn't ref this at all. It, these are all just, you know, off the top of my head. Sometimes, especially for the airplanes, I have to actually look at references and things, because my characters have gotten more and more complicated over the years. Um... But, you know, it's it's kind of just part of the curse of it, I suppose. You'll notice that, like, Diesel's missing the second part of his ear, which a lot of, like, commissioners and stuff like that forget that, too. So it makes a lot of sense that I just, you know, neglected it. But, oh well. So anyway, so Maxwell was completely not from reference, which meant I had to redo their hair over again. And it actually came out better, all the better for it, and I came up with their gauntlets and an outfit for them, even though this was intended to match the previous page. Uh, so all the better as far as I'm concerned. This is now my favorite drawing of Max, and one of two drawings of Max that have three drawings of Max that exist. Um, but it, it's a, this is a good one. So I might finish coloring this at some point rather than just having colored their head. We'll see. Uh, Diamond also is also meant to match, and then I ended up just drawing her entire outfit. This one's super wonky. Um, like, her legs are not... Everything's off kilter, and I don't like it very much. But I did Photoshop this one to look better. Because all the pieces are fine, like her legs are fine, and like her torso is fine, but like nothing actually matches. 
Uh, and this is my little note that she has uh, Doc Martens, but with rugged soles, because I <laughs> ran out of space. That's one of my biggest issues with drawing these notebooks, is I just, I draw large, so I run out of space pretty quickly. More Kira, because he's amazing. I love these hands so much. Look at them, they're beautiful. This is hard pose, and this came out really well, and I'm very proud of it. And also he's got freckles on his hands, which is just nice to draw. His hair is like... His hair makes his ears hard to place on his face. Sorry, this is a little warpy. But you can you can tell that I kind of had an issue with uh, symmetry on, you know, him facing forward and his ears being equal and stuff like that. But it's 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 fine. It's fine. We don't worry about it. <laughs> or Diamond. This is the one I actually used for the compilation because I didn't like that other one. Uh, so I stole this one and I photoshopped it in. <laughs> I do a lot of post stuff, even though, you know, it doesn't really look like it. I do a lot of, like, tweaking and things if I just don't like how it came out. But I don't have the tools to do that with, you know, my pencil. Oh, hey, uh, this is my Animal Crossing character. This is, you, you don't, this is a bad attempt at them. But uh, their name's Mars, and I love them very much, and I've drawn them this much. And that's it. They're cute, and they wear sweaters. That's kind of it. I don't... Love how this one came out, but only because it was messy. Marlin, my love. This one's just very good. I'm just incredibly happy with this one. This, this one's on the one of those pages that, like, I can't get to separate all the way, which is a pain in my ass, and is a pain in my ass the entire time I'm drawing. But there's nothing I can do about it. We're just going to stare at him for a minute because he's beautiful and I love him. Actually, I do have something to say. So... Marlin has existed for a very long time as a concept, but not as a drawing. Um, and when I started drawing this, I'm like, I want to finally design Marlin because I have an idea for him. Right. One of the biggest things is I just, I had no visual ideas for him. I'm like, he's going to wait. I may never design him. I might eventually, I made a Coria and then I'm like, all right, I got to design Marlin at some point. But uh, I had been talking with Sun about my characters and what their hair length usually was. And after going through all of my OCs, like, pretty much ever, we determined that I had almost none that had long hair that was loose, right? Just long hair that was loose. You know, I have a whole bunch that have long hair that's, like, you know, up in a ponytail, or it's, um, you know, like, in a bun, or whatever. It's styled somehow, right? Where it's, like, too long in the front, and short in the back, whatever. But I don't have that many that just have long hair. Like, even, even like, down to here, Right? That just they just don't have long hair that often. That's you know I don't I don't like drawing long hair all that much to be quite honest. So I just don't have that many. So I'm like, all right, you know what? My next OC is gonna have incredibly long hair just for you, son. And then I was like, wait, Marlin could have incredibly long hair. So it's down to his ankles, and it's also rainbow, and I love it, and I love him, and he came out amazingly. And this is one of my Favorite character designs to date, to be honest. Also, extra hands. <laughs> He's just very good. Here's Ikoria. Um, I struggle to draw Ikoria, or especially as I used to just struggle to draw them, just because, like, I do not have a handle on their face whatsoever. It's kind of, you know, Hollow Knight-inspired-ish, sort of, um, among other things that have similar aesthetics. Um, and th this just baffles me i can't do it i you know any any angle other than like half you know side view or straight on anything else i'm like uh but you know i did i did this beautiful marlin right i did this beautiful marlin and i had this teeny tiny little sketch that's like this big of ikoria that i was happy with and that was it and i'm like i can't i can't tell people about him without also telling people about ikoria and then being like, yeah, this man is beautiful and huge, and also, he's in love with him. <laughs> so, you know, I, I had to rectify that and also make him look scary, because teeny tiny sketch this big just didn't look that intimidating. So, I'm very happy with how this one came out also. I'm irritated with myself for placing it over here, but that's just how life goes sometimes. Uh, and then I had top surgery, so I didn't draw for, like, two weeks more a while 
because I couldn't lay on my side and draw things. For, for a week of life, I, I felt like crap, right? So I just didn't draw anything. And then I couldn't really lay on my side to draw things, so I really wasn't feeling it. So I just didn't. Because I, I usually sit in bed to draw things at night more often than not. I draw um, nearly every single night, uh, just, you know, before I go to sleep. It's kind of like some people will read or whatever. Um, but, you know, if I draw, like, digitally, then I don't. So, but anyways... Um, so I started off with Adam, because of course I start with Adam. If I don't know what to draw, it's usually Adam. Um, and then I just kind of fucked around for the next couple nights, because I still, I still was not feeling 100%, so I just kind of goofed around and did some stuff. This one was drawn at like a supreme angle like this, so it looks okay from here, but from the front it just kind of looks bad. Uh, some diamond, some ponies. I have very old ponies, and I think about them sometimes. I have actually recently redesigned him. Uh, I commissioned somebody to help me, and he's further on in the book. We'll see him in a bit. Um, and then I was like, okay, I feel a little bit better now. So here's some Ziggy. This is a very big Ziggy compared to usual. Here's it's, He's just very big, right? Uh, but I, I like this one. He's like, I, I, I gotta go. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll see you later. My ex is here. Bye. Um, I just like this one. It's good. And then this was actually a concept for um, another tycoon, kind of like Ikoria is. Uh, Okay. Flip some pages. So Ikoria is uh, it's a special kind of robot that's like, you know, big beasty thing. Nobody knows how much human is in them, blah blah blah. And I'm like, alright, cool. They're all huge beastial things and none of them look the same. So here's another one. Uh, they kind of have like uh, I don't it's some Mesoamerican culture has like this kind of aesthetic where they have like the bared teeth with the big lip around them and the big wide eyes. So it's kind of like that sort of aesthetic. But then it's also just like a big werewolf man. Uh, I was considering naming them Bear. I think they have other names now that I don't really remember because I wrote them down somewhere and I'm not looking at it right now. But I think it's like Bisque or Basque or something like Basque sounds right. I think Basque is what I went for. Um, they don't like Ikoria very much, but none of the tycoons really like each other, so it's fine. More Ikoria. Don't like this one. Do like this one. Um, managed to draw them from three quarters view, which is great. Uh, also more fonts, <laughs> because of course. Uh, I was thinking about Shark Tank, like one of those, you know, weird ass investor shows or whatever. Because, you know, they're, they're a capitalist trash monster. Um, so that, that's kind of what the vibe for this was. They're like, uh, you know, they, they control uh, quite a bit of industry. So the idea is like, you know, just... Great, good for you for coming in here and telling me about this product that I already make and basically could have already sold you. Please leave. Um, more diesel. I don't know why I drew diesel. I think I was just thinking about them. Oh, this one, uh, this one got cut off by the page a little bit, but I did. I think I finished this one digitally. I don't really remember. I feel like I did, anyways. I just like th this one's nice. Posing diesel is really nice because they have a lot of cool body language and they're pretty tall. So, I get to, like, fold them up and stuff. It's nice. Kitty cats. These guys are... Okay, so, actually, these guys have a bit of a funny story behind them. I didn't intend to, like, go through... I, I adopted these characters. I didn't intend to go through with adopting these characters when I went to inquire about them. So, these two... I, I, I have a toy house, right? And I sometimes will fade characters. And every so often, I'll go through the characters and be like, Huh, I wonder if these characters are for sale. I don't do this as a regular habit. It's usually when I'm bored. Um, and if some of them are, sometimes I'll be like, oh, well, maybe I'll consider getting this character because I faved them for a reason. It's because I like them, right? So these two, in fact, were up for sale. And I've, you know, I think they've been up for sale for like a while at this point. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I've been having fun drawing Ziggy. Maybe I'll get myself some furries so that I can draw them and that'll be fun. So I inquired about Silver. These are actually their original names, is Silver and Airy. Um, I inquired about Silver, and these guys were up for trade. And it's one of those things where, like, you know, they're technically a closed species, actually. And uh, you're not really supposed to, like, sell them if they've been traded or whatnot. And I'm like, listen, they've got nice art. They've got, you know, full profiles. And would it be okay if I purchased Silver for USD? Right. And that spiraled into, you know, me going and contacting the original creator of these guys and being like, hey, would that be all right? You know, can we make an exception for the time that these guys were traded rather than, you know, sold or whatever? And 
uh, also these two were meant to be together, so I ended up being like, oh yeah, no, totally, I, I'll take both of them because I like this one and I'd like that one, and I'll, you know, I'm willing to keep them together because I understand the sentiment of doing that. That's that's how I ended up with Caspian and Ro, right? You know, I, I'm, I am no stranger to making sure the characters stay together, right? And all of this just because I wanted to know how much money they would be willing to take for silver because I didn't want to pay like over $50 for them. <laughs> And uh, now I've got both of them. Oops. That's not really what I intended to have happen, but it, it's it's where we're at. I don't love how this one actually came out here. I don't, I don't like his face, but after staring at it for a long time, I kind of decided it was fine. I do like these, though. Anyway, I, li I like these guys both quite a bit, and like these headshots don't really show the full extent of how interesting they are. But here's a better one at Aerie. I really like this one, because I actually bothered to shade it for once. Because it's not shade, tone it for once. He looks very nice, and I love him. I kind of want to mess with his color palette, because he's all brown, and brown is just not really my thing. But maybe someday. We'll get there. And a very majestic blackjack. I had talked with Sun the night before about giving Blackjack hobbies, because he really doesn't have a narrative or anything like that, and uh, we decided that he likes coffee as a part of that, and um, the imagery of him eating in general, just like a lot, a lot of the things that Blackjack does is, it's funny because he's just such an absurd little creature, so <laughs> he's just <laughs> opens his trap, chucks the coffee bag like a shot, it's fine, don't worry about it, everything's normal here. Um, failed silver that I don't like. I don't love his face here, but I fixed it in post, so that's fine. This is for a mobile game that uh, Mags got me into, and I had some edgy head cannons about because of its name and how it works and stuff. I do like how the rest of the drawing came out, except for his eyes. Just, just don't look at those, and the rest is good. See? Perfect. Here's the best Ziggy I've ever drawn. No, that is not hyperbole. I actually love this. This is going to be their outfit. I was, I don't remember what the hell I was doing. I think someone on Tumblr that I follow was talking about ridiculous, stupid outfits. And I just want him to be, you know, like, um, like a glam rock pop star kind of all vinyl, ridiculous space outfits. I came back and revisited this one and added the comment of glasses because look at him. He needs them. <laughs> I might switch the sash for a belt at some point, but that that's going to have to happen when I actually draw, like, the full body. We'll see how that goes. This is a stern wolf for Somber, because it was Somber's birthday, and also I owe Somber assorted pieces of, like, art and things, so I was like, you know what? I will definitely draw something for Somber, and then I will release myself from an art obligation and also give him a birthday present. So I did. And then I scanned it, and I gave it to him, and he colored it, and it looks fucking incredible. And you should go see it. That's all I have to say about this. I do like how this one came out quite a bit, actually. Their hands look amazing. Um, kitty cat. I call them kitty cats, but I don't think they have anything to do with kitty cats except for their feet. Uh, this is why the Venos are very cool, is because their tails are just scorpion things. They're really neat, and I like them a lot, and I really like drawing big monster hands. Okay, I think my video file switched. We'll see. So anyway, I think Silver was supposed to have long hair, and it was up in a bun, but I decided that I didn't want to draw that, so... They have short hair now because I said so. Uh, this I didn't finish. This is one that I might come back and revisit, but I don't think I'm gonna, because I don't like how Marlon's face came out. Because he's, yeah, he's facing right. I can't draw anyone facing right, that's just how it works. It looks okay if you crop it a little bit more. But I need to draw these two together more because it's... They're good and I love them. They have a terrible relationship, but they're good and I love them. Uh, here's that pony I mentioned. Um, this is me obsessing over uh, the uh, figures that I got to turn into my airplane boys. Um, so I was basically just working on that for like three days and didn't draw anything. And then I came back and I'm like, I'm not going to be able to draw at all because I haven't drawn in three days. So I drew a really shitty Hinata and then I went to sleep and I drew some ponies. So this is, this is his redesign. His name used to be Zirin and it's now Perfect Storm because I think that's great. And I love making like pony pun names and he looks amazing. And I'm very happy with how he came out. The person that I commissioned is Sugar Pop on, um, Toy House. 
and uh, it's, you know, it's listed in his profile and stuff like that. And he came out super good, and I love him, and I had to draw him, obviously. So there he is. Here's some Zaggy. This is a very good Zaggy, and I love Zaggy. He's got polka dot paws because he, I'm like, I, I was trying to work on like what the color of his toe beans and the middle pad didn't have a color and it looked bad in orange. So uh, I think it was somber was like, make it freckly. So it's freckly and it's very good. And he's beautiful. Anyways, but this is one of those times when I tried to draw something in side view and I was like, I missed just a little bit. So I added like that tiny little bit of eye there and it came out okay. <laughs> And this is also just cute. I was, I have a lot of feelings about Diesel and Coyote dating because I, they're very good together. I don't even know if it happens within like the course of the story. It might happen after the fact, but I have a lot of feelings and thoughts about them being together. Very, very many. And I love them very much. So I was considering drawing Diesel like facing that direction and uh, it ended up being too complicated. So I didn't. So instead, Kate is just kind of in his lap, but I think that was the original idea in the first place and it's fine. So I think it might've actually looked more interesting if Diesel was facing that way, but this is cuter. So it's all right. Crimson can have little a gun as a treat. Sometimes I just think about guns. So actually this one's kind of funny. Um, this was about the same time that I was going through my Tumblr, cleaning it up, you know, taking out all of like the old depression posts and stuff from early college days. And in doing so, while I was there, I found like some old posts that I had made about like how hard it is to draw mechanics and guns and stuff like that. I'm like, dude, I can never draw, you know, like a gun or whatever. I think I was drawing some of my uh, assassins at the time who have, you know, pistols. And, um... <laughs> Uh, who I am as a person now, I was looking at that, I'm like, hmm, maybe you just didn't try hard enough. So here we are. I like this one quite a bit. I think this one came out well. I did mess up Henry's thumb here, because I moved his hand further down the gun later, so this actually should be, like, there, but it's fine. His, this hand looks nice, though. This hand does look nice. The thumb's just screwed up, and I didn't fix it in time. This is a good one. Here's the last one. I was thinking about airplanes, and also I was sad. So here's some sad Adam in an airplane. And I never cleaned this one up because I wasn't feeling it, and it was like 5 a.m., so I stopped. And I don't feel the need to come and fix it. <laughs> and that's the last one in here, actually. And then I avoided drawing in my sketchbooks for a couple weeks because I didn't want to start a new one, and then I finally started a new one. And there it is. Ta-da! That's it. Also, this sticker was made by Sun. That's all I have to say about this one.